In this video, I will continue the reviews I make about historical TV shows. This time I will talk about Domena, the British-Italian TV series which is about Livia Drusilla, wife of the first Roman Emperor Augustus. About season 1, I already talked very briefly in my 2021 TV series ranking video and now I will talk about season 2 and how I see the whole show so far. I will try to do this without saying major spoilers, especially about season 2 which I think not many have seen so far. First of all, I have to say that I was already a fan of the show before it even started because I think Livia is a very interesting and great historical figure who has not gotten justice done so far on screen. Either she is undeservedly in the background or she is a psychopath who murders literally everyone in her way. Also, I think there should be more TV shows about this whole era. Recently, when I made a video about my top 10 favorite ancient history shows, I realized I had a very short list to choose from. So, Lydia is certainly a fresh new face on screen, not another Queen Elizabeth or Anne Boleyn. As far as I could see, the show has garnered more positive reviews than negative ones, it has not become a critic's favorite, but it is generally praised. So far, I have seen season 2 getting more positive reviews and higher scores than season 1, although it is still early days for season 2, so it can still change in the future. My opinion is that season 2 is pretty great, it is better than season 1 in many ways. I liked season 1 as well, there were things I disliked about it, but there were more things I liked. I think the big time jump and cast change after two episodes was misplaced and I would have done it differently. I had a few other problems with it, like the character of Augustus after the time jump, but all in all I liked the show, the story, especially the next generation characters. I also liked the main actress's performance as Livia, I think she did a great job. And then I find that the show has improved with season 2 in many things. Certainly it helps that this time there are no big time jumps between the episodes that disrupt the plot. There are time jumps, but shorter ones, without actor changes, and these time jumps are accommodated better throughout the whole season, and while each episode has its own storyline, the whole season still remains a well-plotted, compelling, cohesive story. There is so much tension and political plotting in this season that we could call this drama a political thriller too. I think that Augustus' character has improved somewhat too, although it happens a bit at the cost of his relationship with Livia, which I don't like so much because I am a huge Livia and Augustus shipper in history, but Augustus' character needed this, to have more agency, to have more independence from Livia's influence, to resemble more the extraordinary man the first Roman Emperor was. I think this is something that many historical shows struggle with. I see often that they cannot balance a power couple like Livia and Augustus. They can't write two strong characters in the relationship at the same time, and one character overshadows the other. It is so frequent nowadays that the female character is made to look strong by attributing many historical deeds and decisions of the male character to her. And then what is left for the male character? Nothing. And he will look weak and dumb in the end. There are good examples for great, balanced power couples in historical dramas, but not that many. So I think that is what Domina suffered from too. As a close couple, Livia dominated Augustus. And only when he distances himself from her, when they are less of a couple, Will he start looking strong and commanding, like the Emperor he should be? I am still a fan of the next generation characters and their storyline. Julia, Antonia, Iulus, Drusus, Antonina, Vipsania. About Tiberius, first I felt quite weird, because the season 1 actor was changed into an older one, which would make sense, except no one else was recast, I think. My problem was not only that I liked the season 1 actor's performance very much, but the season 2 actor looks nothing like him. So it was strange when I first saw how much Tiberius had changed from season 1 to season 2. 
But then, as season 2 progressed, I have grown accustomed to him. And really, if they plan to make further seasons, which I hope they do, then they just had to cast an older Tiberius sooner or later. Overall, I think the show has a decent level of historical accuracy. Now I know that there are people who will not agree with me on this. And like I said in many previous videos of mine, it is very relative and personal how much we can or cannot tolerate certain inaccuracies in certain TV shows. I am not emotionally attached to this era or any of these historical figures, nor am I the greatest expert on them, so maybe I can tolerate inaccuracies others can't. But I think we can all agree that compared to other shows about ancient Rome, including the most famous and acclaimed ones like Rome, Spartacus and I, Claudius, Domina is definitely not more inaccurate than them. Actually, I find Domina the most accurate among those that I have mentioned. So, I think any complaint about the historical inaccuracy of this show is not actually fair, when other shows about the same era, including extremely successful ones, are much more inaccurate. I know that there is one particular historical inaccuracy many complain about, which is Libya's secret support of the restoration of the Republic, now, while I also admit that it annoyed the hell out of me in season 1 and in the beginning of season 2 as well, towards the end of season 2, I kind of started to get where this whole idea comes from. So, I understand. So I already thought that Domina season 1 was very good, but now in season 2 I think it has even improved. There is still room for improvement, a lot but I really hope they continue the show, at least for one more season. What do you think of the show? Do you like it? Do you think it has improved with season 2? Let me know in the comments.